third one in this video we have one right triangle and these three parts are given as equal and this length is given 12 here is given 90 degrees and x is asked okay first of all if we connect these two points here must be equal 90 degrees right just remind you, in every triangle, if these three parts are equal, like this, here must be equal 90 degrees. Therefore, what is that? These three parts are given as equal, so here must be equal 90 degrees. Okay. Next step. Let's call here y. If you focus on the biggest triangle, what's that? These are 90 degrees. That means we can apply Euclid's theorem, right? So, according to Euclid's theorem, square of this length, 8 square must be equal y times y plus 12, right? Therefore, 64 equal y squared plus 12y. So, if you convert this expression to a perfect square, y plus 6 whole squared minus 36 equal 64. So, y plus 6 whole squared equal 100. Let's square root both sides of the equations. That means y plus 6 equal 10. So y is going to be 4 units. Let's write here y equal 4. And if you focus on this triangle, this triangle has same three sides, right? So triangle B D E is an equilateral triangle. That means angle D B E must be equal 60 degrees, right? So 30 degrees left here. After that, if you focus on the biggest triangle, there's an eight unit opposite side of the 30 degrees. Opposite side of the 60 degrees must be equal. 8 root 30. Okay. This was the first method. Now we will calculate value of x using second method. If you focus on the triangle, the triangle is an isosceles triangle, right? So if we draw a perpendicular, the base will be divided into two equal parts. Let's call here m. So here must be equal m unit. Okay. After that, let's call here angle alpha. Here, theta. If you notice that, alpha plus theta equal 90 degrees. Right? That means here must be equal angle theta. Okay. After that, let's call here putting k. What's that? This triangle and this triangle have same angles. That means these two triangles are similar. So triangle KBD and triangle ABC are similar. So if you start our calculation from this triangle, M which is opposite side of the theta over 8, which is opposite side of the theta, equal 4, which is opposite side of the 90 degrees, over 2m plus 12, which is opposite side of the 90 degrees. Let's simplify. So m squared plus 6m 
equal 16. If you convert this expression to a perfect score, n plus 3 whole squared minus 9 equals 16. Therefore, n plus 3 whole squared equal 25. Let's square root both sides of the equation. We get n plus 3 equals 5. That means m is going to be 2 units. Let's write here m equal 2. Finally, if you focus on the biggest triangle, for biggest triangle, if you apply Pythagorean theorem, we get to the value of x, right? Let's create here. Therefore, for this triangle, if you apply Pythagorean theorem, h squared plus x squared equal 16 squared. So x squared equal 16 squared minus 8 squared. x squared equal 16 minus 8 times 16 plus 8. So x squared equal 8 times 24. So 24 is 8 times 3. Let's square root both sides of the equations. X is going to be 8 root 3. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Take care and bye bye.